are you using again? Huh? And maybe, just fucking maybe, I changed this murder to a fucking accident. You sure this is the guy who killed Kamala? What about his friend who got away out the fucking window? Hey, don't worry about it. What's up, Power Fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. There was an interesting comment under my last video which states that how would Don Carter make Felicia's death look like an accident when she was clearly beaten and her head smashed? So in this video, I'll be talking about how Carter will make Felicia's death look like an accident and why he believes so much that he can make her death go away without a blowback on Diana or Tariq. Also, could Felicia had installed hidden cameras in her home? And also do check my last two videos on Ife's mother and how Tate was reading Carter. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's get straight into the topics. We already know what happened to Felicia and why she ended her death. So I'll go straight to the main topic here which is how Detective Don Carter is going to make her death look like an accident. I know most of you wonder how he was going to do that when clearly she was murdered at home. Now with these remaining three episodes and they have even introduced Ife's mother, I don't know if they will have the luxury of time to want to establish how Carter will make Felicia's death look like an accident. I also don't know if they will even want to probe that much into her death as a minor character as compared to Kamal Tate's death. But if they want us to know how Felicia's death can go away without any trees, then we will see Carter doing that. Now, here is how he's going to implement his plan. We all know Felicia has a car and she was using drugs as well, to which Carter questioned her drug status when she seemed to be justifying her actions towards Diana. Are you using again? What are you talking about? We equally saw her using the day IAB called her to come just when she was going to Monique's house. <laughs> so based on this, Carter will put Felicia's body in her car, drive her to a non-residential location, probably a sloopy area, then park, drag her body into the driver's seat, hold her with the seat belt, put the car to drive and let her slope to crash. Now, if he does this well, he will get the impact that will match how Diana smashed her head. If he wants to be extreme, he can set the car ablaze too, so that it will look like the car exploded upon crashing. If you remember how Efe wanted to end Lauren when she did similar thing by trying to drown her, that is the same approach Carter would likely use, only that he will have to use the crashing method and not Efe's method. Now, that is not all. The story must look good enough so that there won't be any suspicions. So what is left? Carter will have to leave some coke inside her car and possibly sprinkle some around her nose and hands so that even if they want to dig into the accident, they can conclude that she was high and crashed herself. To play safe, Carter can also go extreme by injecting the drug into her body just in case they may want to do some blood sample tests to see if indeed she was high. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. But if you ask me, this is the most believable approach Carter can use to avoid any suspicions. Because this is the second person to die just like that in his team within a short period, which means there is something big chasing them. Now, we still don't know what Sergeant Will of IAB called Felicia for. Hypothetically, could Felicia be snitching and working against Carter the whole time? Or this scene was genuinely created to have a reason for Tariq to kill Zion and for Felicia to do what she did to Diana? Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. We have three episodes left, so we can't overthink some things when there are a lot of things going on though. But all the same, let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, what's the way forward with Kata and Nico? I feel Nico will start thinking this is not the Russians anymore and that there is something bigger. And Felicia's sudden death will equally shake Nico to start suspecting his boss. Now, could it be that Felicia has installed a hidden camera in her house too? That lady was crazy, so it wouldn't be out of place if by any chance she has installed cameras in her home. Even if not for anything at all, but for her son's sake and his safety if she isn't around. Let me know what you also think about this in the comment section below. But if it happens that she has a hidden camera at home, then I guess there will be more trouble in paradise. And if Nico happens to know about these hidden cameras, then I guess Carter is in trouble. Now, what will make Felicia want to install cameras in her house apart from her child's safety? Carter. She seemed to be scared of Carter regardless they are doing dirty things together. She even established that fear with Diana at the time she was asking her 
to go and take out Zion. Carter is not the easiest person to work for. In fact, he's got me in a jam right now and I could really use your help getting out of it. So if Felicia is scared of Carter, she might as well fix some hidden cameras at home so that just in case he wants to take her out, it would have been at her place. Anyway, this is just hypothetical thought, but let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, in my last video, I indicated how Rashad didn't believe Carter when he brought that Miss Race Russian looking guy. Nico was equally shocked as to if this guy was the one who really shot Kamal. So if you pay attention to this. You sure this is the guy who killed Kamal? What about his friend got away out the fucking window? Hey, don't worry about it. Clearly, Nico equally doubts as to whether if it was this guy who was able to take out someone like Kamal. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, in the new teaser, we see Kane and Norma going to Nico. The findings from Efe is what they want to use as leverage either to blackmail him and Carter. But I don't think they will want to only blackmail because they will raid their space and kill both Kane and Norma problem solved. But I think Kane and Norma are going to have a deal with Nico and make him know that they have an evidence on him and Carter. They might as well use Tariq and Sa's principle to back their survivor, where they will make him understand that if either of them end up dead, there are copies of the informations everywhere and will immediately be published. Now, if this happens, do you think it's a good decision Norma and Kane are making? Well, I guess for now, they can buy some time with such a move, but let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.